Test, test, test. What do you think it is? Going through the alleyway, wondering... What am I here for? Is there a reason for me to be here? Is there something to do with this and whatnot? And every time you run down the street, you're running around, you see everybody else just doing something, going somewhere, you're like, where are they going to? And then you think, man, I really am just trying to be human. Hello, it's the FNR Show, and today we are talking about being human. The U.S. version, because it is a show that it, it, it premiered on sci-fi at a time back in the day, and it was really good. It was a remake of, well, a, an American version of a British show called Being Human, which people love, and people, I mean, I've been posting about the American version of Being Human online. I'm not trying to be an ultra-patriot, hashtag America, hashtag go vote November, but... Uh, the reason I'm talking about the American version of Being Human so much is there was a snafu <laughs> of when it came to its release and streaming rights and all this stuff. It's been inaccessible for a very long time, and only now can you watch it in pristine condition uh, on Freebie, for free, uh, or on Amazon Prime, which is what, because Amazon owns Freebie, I think. Uh, and I implore everybody who can go watch it to go watch it if you're in, that's how you can watch it in the United States I don't know if you can watch it on freebie on anything else, but you should and if you try looking it up You'll be like uh, justice on Google says you watch being human everywhere uh, They probably are showing the British version the American version uh, Is only on freebie as far as I know and I, I look up all the time because I love this show and I always want to show it to people but it's never on anything and so now it is on something I can show it to people and I want to talk about this show give me just a second I actually don't have to say that I can just pause okay so the British version was created by Toby Whithouse or White House uh, it's about three supernatural beings a werewolf a vampire and a ghost and they are all living in an apartment, trying to live a normal life. Uh, and it's a fun concept. It sounds like a sitcom comedy. Neither show plays it like that. Each show plays it with the drama and, uh, you know, melodrama that would ensue. Uh, and also, the British version did last longer. The British version lasted 37 episodes, while uh, the American version which is developed by Jer uh, Jeremy Carver and Anna Frick, which Jeremy Carver you're going to hear about again uh, in a bunch of stuff because he, he show ran Doom Patrol. He, uh, he show ran a couple seasons of Supernatural, which I don't really like Supernatural, but I'm willing to jump into his seasons for maybe doing a Jeremy Carver episode if I ever did that. Uh, and he's also going to be working on uh, another DC show for James Gunn, under the new uh, DC banner, so you can tell he's going to be busy. Uh, anyway, uh, Being Human, North America, uh, same concept, werewolf, vampire, ghost, in an apartment, what makes it different? I, I have watched a couple episodes of The British Being Human, and it's, it is fun, it does have a similar vibe. Uh, oh wow, interesting. I thought the British version lasted longer. The British, uh, British version only has 37 episodes with five seasons. The American version has uh, 52 episodes with four seasons. So that's interesting. So the American version did last longer. Uh, I think there uh, there's a vibe that comes with the American version. I think there is a vibe that comes with both of them. But the American version especially, like the first season has a soundtrack that slaps. You heard me play a little bit of that song a little bit uh, before. A mirror uh, without a face, or a mirror without, by Royal Wood. Oh, that's a fun name. Uh, this is the opening of that first episode of Being Human, the uh, American version, right quick. Just a couple seconds. Look at that mirror, all we do is spin our little lives. 
suck in that gut, color that hair, twist off that wedding ring. And why not? What's the penalty? What are the consequences, really? I'm only human, you say, and always forgiven. But what if some cruel twist of fate makes you something else? Something other? Okay. So yeah, that was the American version of being human. And just a couple seconds, literally, of the British version, which is fine. It's a fine version, you know, and they did do it first, but here we go. Everyone dies. Uh, actually, can I start that again? Everyone deserves the death. I was going to die of old age. That was the plan. Mitchell is going to go down in a blaze of gunfire and glory. Now, cold and alone and shit scared. He didn't think death would smile at first. Death was always a certainty, the punchline we could all see coming. But not for Mitchell. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, they're both good. They both, like, the, uh, the American version, especially the first season, does borrow a lot from the British version. Uh, at least the first few episodes, anyway. But at a certain point, they do diverge, uh, and they all, they just sort of do their own thing. Uh, the American version, especially, in seasons three and four, gets pretty gosh darn wild. Uh, but anyway... I hope you. I have. I haven't bored anybody. Oh gosh, it took me way longer to do just that than it did just to show it to you. F you. Uh, but anyway, what I love about being human is it really does lean heavy on the themes of being a monster and what it means to be a monster and what does it mean to be human and what does it mean? What, what you know? Where are the the parallels of each? You know, what I mean, like are humans even that great either? Uh. There are times that you might think, man, it's a little too heavy on all this supernatural stuff because in the core of the show of them trying to be human. But every time they do get a little crazy, they also pull back a lot, which is really good, especially that first season. The first season, rewatching it this recently, uh, it's way cheaper than I remembered. I watched it when I was in high school, so it was probably way cooler at the time, but still really good. Uh, because they actually managed to convey a lot, especially the world building of the ghosts and the vampires and uh, and the werewolf lore, like the like the, the different rules, like uh, Aiden the vampire can walk during the day uh, because va uh, vampires have evolved, or uh, if a ghost possesses somebody, they they kind of get like a ghost hangover, or if uh, uh, if a werewolf. I don't know. Has circles? Of, I don't know what a werewolf does. Werewolf is pretty much just a werewolf. But anyway, uh, it's really cool. And uh, they do get crazy. They, they introduce witches and in, I think, season three or four. Zombies. Uh, demons. Uh, the, it really culminates, uh, culminates in a demon. And I think it's really interesting uh, how that goes. But I'm not going to spoil it because I honestly can't remember because I'm, I'm rewatching it right now. Uh... But please watch this show. So what happened was, when it came out, I saw the first two seasons on Sci-Fi. It was a show on Sci-Fi. It was the 51 or 2% female audience for, for Sci-Fi. So it was actually uh, pretty popular at the time, I think. Or at least around that time when season one and two, or when season two was about to premiere, it was pretty big, I think. Because they did like a whole marathon. That's how me and Jacob, my brother, watched it. They did a marathon. We just sort of watched it all day because we were like, man, this is good. And uh, and then they premiered season two that night and we watched it and we were like, this is a show we're going to watch now. Uh, and then after that, we lost access to cable. We didn't get to see season three or four. Then in college, I learned skills and I found a way to see seasons three and four. But, but what was crazy was... And I'm going to show my hand a little bit. They weren't necessarily the most legal of means. But even in those means, 
Uh, season four, it was literally like, uh, just recordings of TV shows, like or like of off TV, and then edited out the commercials. Like the quality, even online illegally, was not good for season four. And so in season, uh, so season three got a DVD release, a Blu-ray release, but season four never did get a Blu-ray release. So. Even I did buy me and Jacob saw season three because I've got to buy that on DVD and that was great. It was awesome. We were like, yeah, we get to finally watch season three. Uh, I used to have them. I don't have them anymore. I really wish I still had them because they're probably worth a little bit of money now. I don't know. Uh, but season four never existed on DVD, and it was never on any streaming service for so long, and it sucked because I mean we didn't just never got to see it for a long time. Uh, and then, like I said, we did get to see it through different means, but even that quality was not that good. And while I'm watching this being human right now, I'm only in season two. I haven't gotten to season four yet. But on Freebie, it is like 4K. If you got a 4K TV, it's, I think it's going to play in 4K. If you got, you know, whatever. It's going to play in a really high quality. I'm really excited to see season uh, seasons three and four especially, because I watched the first two seasons a bunch because we had it like DVR'd back in the day. I can't wait to see season three and four and see how I think about it now. And uh, it ends satisfyingly. It it got canceled, but it was like a it was a smart sort of setup how they did it. Uh, so they knew whether or not they're going to be canceled at a certain point. So they were like, okay, let's wrap it up. And they did it in a really good, great way and very satisfying way. So you should go watch it. It is on Freebie. You can watch it for free right now. And if you if you uh, don't have access to Freebie for some reason in whatever country you're in, it is on YouTube. The first two seasons are on YouTube, I see, or the first season and a half. Uh, there's like a playlist somewhere on there, so I, I'll try to put a link it to, to it, but maybe I shouldn't. I I don't know. Uh, but yeah, go watch Being Human. It's a really good show. It's very sad. It has a great soundtrack, but it's also very funny. There's, you know, there's shenanigans, like uh, Josh the werewolf brings his uh, roommate and the vampire to uh, visit his family because reasons, whatever. And uh, his family serve garlic in, like, a spaghetti, and it makes uh, Aiden start to vamp out, like his eyes go black and his teeth are starting to poke out, and they have to find... Uh, stuff around the house to try to herbally get him back to normal. It's very interesting, very funny. Uh, and also, the the scariest stuff and the coolest, kookiest stuff involves Sally because she sir, she's a ghost. I was just gonna, I'm gonna say that she's a ghost, and all all the shenanigans that Sally goes through just gets kind of crazy, and she goes through a wild afterlife. Uh, and sometimes the darkest and scariest bits come from Sally, in way in the most unexpected ways. Because when you start to really delve into the sadness of the werewolf and the vampire, like the vampire, it's like an addiction sort of parallel. Like I'm just so addicted to blood. Uh, and with the werewolf, you know, he's just obsessed with the fact of like all the things that are wrong with him and wrong with his life. Uh, and what I love about it is the the undead vampire and the dead ghost sort of have to live vicariously through the alive werewolf who hates being alive, which is so funny. Like, uh, there's a point where Aiden's like, I ordered a pizza so I could watch you eat. <laughs> it's like, come on. Uh, and Sally's just like, well, so what? I'm just going to sit and watch you watch uh, NASA videos or something? Like, Give me something more fun to do. Or, you know, all this stuff. Uh, there's twists and turns. There's cool vampire politics. There's cool, uh, you know, it's a little... It's, it's, it was on sci-fi. It could only do PG-13, but they do a good job of having some blood in there. Uh, some, some, you know, sensual, sexual blood den things, which is fun. Uh... The cast is great. I, I like all of them. They're all great. Uh, you got Sam Huntington. He was in Superman Returns, which we don't talk about anymore. 
Uh, you got Sam Witwer. He was in Smallville as Doomsday in season eight, and he was also he's in a lot of Star Wars. He was a uh, uh, Star Killer in that Force Unleashed game. And you got Megan Rath, which I've seen her in some other stuff, but this is the only thing I think I've seen her in that I've watched for like the whole thing. She was in How I Met Your Father for a couple episodes. I saw her in another show. What other show did I see her in? I'm looking. She was in New Girl for a couple episodes. I did watch. I saw her in New Girl. Uh, I like Megan Rath. I wish she would be in more stuff. She's actually really good in in the show. Also, they're all they're all really good in the show. And it's a really fun, tight knit group of people. Also, they eventually bring in a another werewolf, Kristen Hager, and she's good too. She was in Wanted with Chris Pratt. <laughs> with Chris Pratt, the star of Wanted, who was not the star of Wanted. Uh, they were uh, the two cheating on uh, James McAvoy in Wanted. <laughs> uh, so that's fun. Anyway. Uh, yeah, go watch Being Human. It's a great spooky... Especially now, during spooky season, go watch Being Human. It, like, I, how many more times do I gotta say it? Watch Being Human. It's a good show. It, like... It got okay views when it was on, I think. Like, especially for sci-fi. I think they were, appreciated the women audience that this show brought. Uh, which I think is cool. I, like, I don't know why. Uh, I think it's because the soundtrack's really good. The vampire guy, like, Sam Witwer, he, they Dracula him the fudge up in this show. Like, he, in the first season, they sort of, like, like, he's kind of pale, but not the most pale. In season two, he is so pale, he's got a stinking vampire mullet, uh, uh, not mo uh, mullet, but, uh, like a faux hawk, or, like, a mini mohawk, like a mini hawk, uh, he's really dracula ing it up. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, really love it. Really love it. Watch it. Just watch it. You'll love it. You'll like it. Uh, and you can watch the British version too. Nobody who loves the British version get offended, okay? Uh, granted, if you look at the reviews, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But season, uh, many more people watch the American version. Maybe I don't know. Uh, but I think a lot of people do like uh, some of the extra, uh, the different things they do with the American version, which is interesting. I do want to watch the British version one day, uh, but I just now started rewatching the American version. Give me a break. Give me a break. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, and please watch this show. I love it so much. Goodbye.